Alright guys, what's going on? Alright, back on the PSP scene now. Uh, basically, just want to run over this firmware with you. Now, this firmware came out a little while ago, and I've been set back and whatever, but point is, I want to make this video for you guys so you guys can have the download links and all that fun jazz. So, um, yeah, first things first, you can see I'm running on 660GOD6 uh, custom firmware here on uh, the model 5G, which is the PSP Go. And i uh, got my Remote Joy Light running up here and everything. And I'm also going to be making another tutorial on Remote Joy Light on how to display your computer screen correctly on your PSP device. So, like, say you're in your living room or something and you don't want to go to your computer right now to check something like a download or some shit like that, just connect with the Remote Joy. But these four files here will be available for download on my website um, regardless. So uh, let's look at what we got. We got the 620 Pro C, the 635 Pro C, the 639 Pro C, and the 660 Pro C. I'm guessing you can assume that this is for custom firmware Pro C. This is the third fixed and the final fixed version of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply just going to go to my XMB here real quick. And uh, what you want to do is... Um, go down here let's look for the pro firmwares here pro fast recovery I'm gonna delete this here so we don't get confused let me just delete these real quick and delete that there and we're gonna go ahead and enable USB mode so go and enable your USB connection and I gotta disconnect and connect again because of my remote joy light alright so now that we're connected um, all this fucking dumb shit's gonna come up. Alright. Opening up now. Let's open this folder up. And what you're gonna do is go to the PSP folder and you're gonna go to the game folder. And we'll just leave it at that for now. So let me drag this over here like so. And uh, I'm on 660 firmware. So I'm gonna use the 660 Pro C. So I'm gonna double click on that and open it up. So let's let that load real quick. Opening that up, you're going to see the SE Plugins folder, which is just recovery fonts, and the PSP folder, and then a game folder inside that. The CIPL Flasher, the Fast Recovery, and the Pro Update. Alright, so first things first, if you have a PSP 1000 or 2000 model, you're going to use the CIPL Flasher to install permanent custom firmware Pro. If not, you're going to be using the Fast Recovery and the Pro Update. Uh, if you have a PSP 2000 version 2, 3000, or PSP Go. This is not for PS Vita, obviously. So, um, first thing you're going to do, if you have, if you want permanent custom firmware on your PSP 1000 or 2000, use the Pro Update, and then use the CIPL Flasher. But right now, we're using a PSP Go, so I'm going to take the Fast Recovery and the Pro Update and just copy that over to the memory stick or the HDD of the PSP Go into the game folder which you can see here so once that's done after you downloaded extracted the files and all that fun stuff let's just recap on this you'll see the fast recovery with the eboot in it and you will see the um, do, 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 the pro update here with an eboot in it and that's about it so we're gonna exit that I'm gonna exit USB mode and let me just reset my VSH here so you can see what the hell's going on all that fun jazz. Three, two, one. Plug it in. Here we go. So we're back on the PSP now. Here's the XMB. And we're going to come over here and you're going to scroll down and we're going to look for the Pro Update. You'll see it's Pro PSP Firmware. So go ahead and start that up. And I'll let you know when we're back in the game, obviously. So here we go. And in the update now, you're going to see Pro C by Team Pro. Press X to launch the custom firmware. Press triangle to uninstall custom firmware or hold L to reinstall custom firmware. So we're just going to hit X right here. And it's going to flash all that fun jazz to the zero. And you're going to press X to reboot. And then we're going to come back to the XMB like so. Alright, so back on the XMB, hit select, you're going to see the Pro VSH menu, like that, alright. 
So let's change this up a little bit. CPU clock, overclock that, like that. UMD ISO mode is the Inferno driver, M33 driver, the Sony driver. Leave it with Inferno or M33, one of the others. And uh, let's go into the recovery menu real quick. Let's check out the configuration. ISO mode, M33 driver, language auto detect, fake region, disabled. The recovery font, you can change that if you wish. USB device, hide the MAC address, enabled, skip game boot on the screen. Fuck that, I like my game boot. Skip the Sony logo, I'll enable that. Use custom update server, protect flash and USB device mount. HTML viewer, custom save location. Use slim colors for PSP 1000, we don't need that, so I'll disable that because I have PSP Go. The version text, yada yada yada. Charge battery when the USB cable's plugged in, go back. Let's go to advanced now, let's see what we're looking at here, blah blah blah, same jazz, hide custom firmware in game, uh, old support for PSP Go, I have that enabled, force high memory layout, I don't know what that is, but okay, <laughs> I'll have to see what that is, CPU speeds, registry hacks, the plugins, all that fun jazz, so that's all there, and if we come over here, <coughs> ah, zoom type on myself, thank you. System settings, come down to system information, and you'll see I have 6.60 Pro C custom firmware, model 5th generation, and there you go. So that's how you install Pro C custom firmware. Same way with the 620, 635, and 639. The download links will be available below as well on my website on the PSP page and uh, underneath 6XX custom firmwares tab. So rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out my Twitter which is DeathRain333, same as my YouTube channel. Go and check me out on Facebook, which is Rob Paps. Uh, link is also on my channel. If you have any questions, you can personal message me there. Personal message me on YouTube. Be sure to leave your questions, uh, your comments, on the comment feed on my channel for your questions answered coming up next week. And as well as, if you wish, donate to my channel for proceeds for more material for me to use for you guys. So take it easy, rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later.